Hey YouTube, I'm back. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, I was in a little accident as you can see it from my face here, but I wanted to do a quick review over the uh, Wet Sounds MC1. Uh, this is the Marine remote. I know it's not going to be an amazing review, it's just uh, going to kind of show you what they look like installing the boat. It's the 2014 Moomba Mojo uh, 2.5. Uh, there used to be a Sony here. Um, I know whenever I was looking for this radio, there wasn't much information about it. Um, so one of the cool things I like is um, you have zone control. So say I want to turn up my interiors, that's my interiors. And then if I want to control my towers, I have a separate volume and that's a beautiful thing. And uh, if you turn the volume normally, it's just for the whole radio. So I'll show you in here. The uh, Wet Sounds panel, it actually installs like a uh, black box uh, radio is kind of what they call it. So everything installs here and then you run a wire around uh, to your um, helm for your controller. Uh, and then I also on this boat have the mini transom remote here. Uh, so I used to have a Sony in the back as well. Uh, so here's the mini in the rear. Uh, you can hook up a light or a wire uh, for illumination as well. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to do just a little quick review on it. Um, I thoroughly enjoy this radio for old boats. It's really cool to be able to upgrade from an old radio. You've got Bluetooth. Uh, it accepts four amps via RCA. Um, you can kind of set up the zone controls how you want. Uh, you can also even uh, hook up a... Um, it's from Shadowcaster. You can hook up like an LED controller to it and even control uh, your LEDs from here, which is, I think, a pretty pretty cool feature. You can kind of make this, for an older boat, your whole um, control center. You can pick songs and everything from here, too. Um, I like that you get the album artwork. So, yeah, you've got your lighting options, audio, Bluetooth. you got your presets. Um, there's not any actual adjustment on that black box radio I just showed. Uh, I did have to do a software update, which they mentioned on the website, for the mini transom remote. Um, but again, that's just something I already had, so I had to replace when I went to this radio. So it's a great one for Moombas, I know that, because sometimes you need a certain size uh, mini, or you know, certain size transom remote, or a bigger one, or a small one to cover up your old hole. Uh, I also had the same problem for uh, that helm controller right there too because the hole was pretty big that Moomba drilled from the factory. Uh, but I also like it because it just mounts there like an amp. I, I've got you know my uh, subwoofer amp, I've got my uh, interior amp, my Wet Sounds tower speaker my, for my Rev 8's amp, uh, and then my uh, Wet Sounds radio, which is nice because it looks just like a light. Wet Sounds are up here. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Jimmy's Garage from Cass Lake, Michigan.